silenced or turned off your cell phone, would you please do that? It's a good time right now. And take notice of the exit signs um, because you're not going to have any previews that remind you to do that. Hello and welcome. My name is Gail G. Trell, and I am one of your co the co-hosts this evening, along with Angela Melizia and Julie Trell. It was Julie who brought Angela and me together. Julie has been passionate about 10 times 10 documentary from almost its inception, three, three years. She's been working on it. Julie, stand up. Here she's right over there. <laughs> I didn't know where she would be. Um, and be congratulated for all your efforts working with 10 by 10, 10 times 10, and c encouraging us to share this wonderful film with the community. It's a worthwhile, fascinating, monumental, per uh, pertinent, phenomenal, and amazing film. The centerpiece of film tonight, Educate Girls, Change the World. Some housekeeping to keep in mind right now. We must be out of the theater by 9.45 for another scheduled movie, but that is not the end of the evening. Please join us in the lobby. We can take more red carpet photos, and we can discuss what we saw. So please don't rush home. Um, we appreciate Aviva Mahler for taking all these wonderful photographs. They will be online, and when you get a handout at the end of the uh, program, it will have the URL address, so you can go check it out. I don't know when, but keep trying. Um, and a great gratitude to Jeff Trell for the backdrop that we have out there and for picking up Julie at the airport this afternoon. <laughs> Julie has been very busy with these films. She has seen, this is her third screening that she's seen in six days. She's been in LA, San Francisco, and now Stanford, Connecticut. So this is so important to her, and we want to show her how much we appreciate it. And a grateful thank you to the Majestic Theater for opening up their theater and helping us get this together. So now a few words from Angela. And, uh, yes, Angela, Julie's SHS classmate at Stanford High School. And she is also the founder of Backyard Man Humanitarian. on the red carpet outside um, in the lobby. If you haven't yet, you can still do it after the movie. We'll be out there. Thank you to Acme Sign Co. for the beautiful, beautiful sign. Classic Carpet donated the carpet. And I also want to thank Jennifer Kozlowski for taking some photos, <coughs> our Backyard Humanitarian photographer. Backyard Humanitarian partners with an organization in Stanford, Connecticut called Women's Mentoring Network. They deal <laughs> A lot of the women um, who are here tonight are from the countries represented in the film, deal with the same issues that you'll see that, that these uh, women and girls deal with. And they are here, and they are going to be happy to talk to you. If you want to um, just get some direct info from them, ask questions, they will be here. I'm going to say their names. I, I hope that I pronounce them correctly. If I don't, I'm very sorry. Um, Vitwa Lejermé. And yeah, and so she'll be happy to talk to you. And Gladys Contreras. And Nandabu Kadwe and Rajin Man yoga. Okay, so please talk to them um, at the end of the film. Enjoy it. And here is Julie Chow. Thank you, Angela. Um, um, just a little background on why and how I got involved with this. I met Tom Yellen 
and Holly Gordon, the executive director and executive producer of 10 Times 10, they came to my office about three and a half years ago and saying, we want to do this film on girls' education. We don't know how we're going to do it. This is what it's going to look like, um, but we're going to do it. Um, I not only fell in love with the idea, because they were just saying how gr educating girls will change the world, cha um, get girls out of poverty, make um, healthier lives, and you'll see more deep data in the, in the film. But I just knew that I had to be involved with this. I fell in love with Tom and Holly. I fell in love with the idea. And being a former classroom teacher, inspired by my mom, and I hear that my second grade teacher who is here, Vicki Ahrens, is she in the room? The reason I became a teacher, so I knew I had to get involved with this, with this film. Um, the other thing that was very unique was the, the distribution, how they were getting this film out. And with that, I'm going to introduce Jessica Somerhausen from 10 Times 10, uh, who will explain a little bit of background about the importance of the film and how it's not just a film, it's, it's also a social action campaign. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much, Julie, Gail, and Angela, for hosting this event and filling up all these seats. This is absolutely incredible. Um, I went to the New York premiere last week, but since then have been seeing so much feedback come in from people who have been seeing screenings across the country and the stories have been amazing. So if you all could actually just go back to your computers after this and send us emails and let us know what you thought, post on Facebook, on Twitter, everything. Um, just get the word out there. We really want to hear what you have to say because it means everything to us. Um, because in the end, it's all about you and the change that you can make after seeing this film. Um, and all I wanted to say about this is that Girl Rising, the movie, is really something, it's about passion. Um, it's about all the passion that everyone in the, involved in the filmmaking process put into this as they traveled from country to country, from <coughs> La Rinconada in Peru to India to Nepal, and making sure that all of these stories were captured and heard by you, by all of us. Um, it's a story about the passion that our partners, like, Room to Read um, has exhibited in just ensuring that every girl around the world um, has a right to an education because it's a fundamental human right. Um, it's, about, it's about the passion that the actresses who narrate these stories exhibit. Um, you can really sense all of the girls' determination and grit in their voices, and they really channel them so well. And it's about the passion that the writers um, exhibited when they sat down with these girls and made sure they had their stories right, and made sure that they were told um, evocatively and just beautifully. Um, and in the end, it's really about your passion, and we're honestly, we have been completely floored by the responses that we've gotten, and um, it's really about you, and in the end, you know, this film is just a catalyst. It only starts here. This isn't the end. Um, and what we need you to do after this is there's going to be a call to action at the end of the film, and if you're moved by the film, if any of these narratives appeal to you, if, you're, if they resonate with you, we want you to text to donate to the 10 times 10 fund. Um, and it's a fund that actually goes to all of our NGO partners. Um, it's distributed evenly among them and goes straight to ensuring that every girl gets an education around the world. So thank you so much. I'm really excited. favorite organizations for me to read, Jennifer Bowen, speak quickly on. Hi, my name is Jennifer Bowen, and I'm from Room to Read, and I wanted to thank the host committee for making such a beautiful screening. I attended the premiere in New York as well, and I'm so excited to see it again. And thank you to 10 times 10 as well, because this movie is not only telling Room to Read's story, but it's also telling the story of eight other um, organizations, and it's really getting the word out how important girls' education is. Um, so 70 million children woke up around the world and didn't have access to an education and didn't go to school this morning. And it's imperative that we all work together to try to find ways to make that um, not a reality anymore. And Room to Read really believes that every child throughout the world should have access to an education no matter what the background, race, gender, history, whatever. Everyone should be waking up and should have empowerment via education. And so our beginning was in the year 2000 when one of our co-founders traveled to Nepal with a few books on the back of a yak. And now we have affected almost 7 million children throughout the 10 countries with which we work. And it's growing from there. So we look forward 